In this video we will talk about high hemoglobin. We will discover the most common causes of this condition, the symptoms to look out for and the treatment options available. So feel free to follow us and learn more about this important health topic. What is hemoglobin? Hemoglobin is a protein present in the red blood cells of the human body, which has the function of transporting oxygen from the lungs to the tissues and organs of the body. Without it, our tissues and cells would not be able to get enough oxygen to generate energy and function properly. It is essential for life and a key indicator of blood health. What are the reasons why hemoglobin can increase? Smoking decreases the oxygen available in the lung and is the world's leading cause of high hemoglobin. This deficiency induces a compensatory increase in hemoglobin in the bone marrow. Altitude, as altitude increases, the air we breathe has less oxygen. The body produces more hemoglobin to transport more oxygen to the tissues. Chronic lung diseases can cause a reduction in oxygen flow in the lungs and induce the production of more red blood cells to compensate, causing an increase in hemoglobin. When the body is dehydrated, the blood becomes thicker with less fluid and there may be a temporary increase in the hemoglobin level if we test at that time. Some tumors can produce hormones that increase the production of red blood cells and therefore the level of hemoglobin. Polycythemia vera, it is a bone marrow disease in which there is an uncontrolled increase in the production of red blood cells. Sickle cell anemia, a genetic disorder that causes the formation of abnormal red blood cells, which increases the level of hemoglobin in the blood in order to maintain normal flow of oxygen. High hemoglobin is an alteration that presents with very few symptoms, so the diagnosis is usually accidental when performing a blood test. High hemoglobin values above 16 grams and hematocrit above 48% are considered. These values are relative and each patient should be interpreted differently. It is important for a person with high hemoglobin levels to see a doctor to determine the underlying cause and receive appropriate treatment. Below are some recommendations to lower hemoglobin. If you can, take advantage of this moment to leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. How to treat high hemoglobin Quit smoking Smoking cessation is the most effective measure to reduce hemoglobin. It should always be the first treatment to be implemented. Drink enough water, staying hydrated can help thin your blood and lower your hemoglobin level. Regular exercise, exercise helps increase the body's ability to carry oxygen and can help reduce hemoglobin level. Dietary changes, eating a low iron diet and reducing alcohol consumption can help reduce hemoglobin level. If the cause of high hemoglobin is a consequence of another disease, such as chronic lung disease, COPD, sickle cell anemia, or a tumor, it is important to receive specific treatment to lower the hemoglobin level. Moving to a town that is at sea level improves polycythemia associated with altitude. It is important to remember that it is important to follow medical recommendations and not take any action without first consulting a professional because some causes can be serious and need immediate treatment. Patients usually have many doubts because each case is different. If you want to leave a comment with your case, we will respond to your message. We hope you have learned more about high hemoglobin and how it can affect your health. Give us a like subscribe with the bell for more quality information and thank you very much, see you in the next one.